So let's talk about how to make ethers and also conversely break them apart because this is an equilibrium limited reaction. Now, if you come on this reaction, it's gonna proceed through an SN2, so it is a painfully slow way to make ethers. The second is that we're only gonna use this if we want to make symmetric ethers. And you'll see why as we start making it, that if we have a mixture of alcohols, we're going to get a mixture of ethers. It's very hard to control it, so we have a subsequent separation step. So let's say we have something like ethanol. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add H plus. So this is an acid catalyzed ether synthesis. And what will happen is that our alcohol will grab a hold over H plus and give us this compound. A second alcohol will use its lone pairs to displace this OH2 plus group to give us water. And then subsequently we deprotonate to give us the ether. So this is the acid catalyzed dehydration of alcohols to give us ethers. What are some points about this? Well, first of all, because we are working with primary alcohols, this is a painfully slow reaction. So typically we won't do this unless we really need to do it. And again, if we had a blend of alcohols, let's say we had ethyl alcohol and propyl alcohol, we're gonna get all types of combinations, diethyl, dipropyl, and ethylpropyl. So this is really only reserved for when you wanna make symmetric ethers. Now, final comment on this, if we really write out the full reaction, we have two, alcohols, acid catalyzed going back and forth to the symmetric ether. Because H2O is a product here, this is going to be driven when we have very dry or anhydrous alcohol. So if we really want to produce the ether, we're going to add something like HCl or HBr to a pretty much pure or almost pure alcohol. And Le Chatelier's principle is going to drive it towards the ether. If we want to go the reverse way, we'll add something like HCl plus H2O. The H2 will drive the reaction backwards, so we can use this to both create ethers as well as destroy ethers.